Now uh, here we're gonna do, uh, we're on our way to do the supermarket. This is uh, every two weeks uh, supermarket here in, in this town. It's uh, usually rodents, no, no bugs. <laughs> Here we go. We're uh, what we do here. We're gonna check the uh, half these throughout the, the store. These are bait stations. Basically, uh, this is a supermarket. We can be throwing bait uh, around. So place them in here. These are RTUs, uh, road and treatment units. And I got them in, in, uh, throughout the store in the basement just to make sure we keep the the rodents under control. Store here, but believe it or not, is pretty good. Uh, every once in a while you get a little spurt of, of mice, but uh, we can control them pretty fast with these uh, RTUs. So we're here on our on our way to this is my fourth uh, fourth stop today. Uh, this will be another another supermarket. So today all together we're gonna do about four supermarkets. This is the second one, and then I got two more out in Newark and, and in Orange. I'm in Jersey City right now. So let me pulling into this one. ¿Cómo está? Felicidades. Gonna be checking the same thing as in the other supermarket. We have these stations down. So called RTUs again. RTUs are rodent treatment units. And basically, uh, these are little boxes. They'll fill, we'll fill them with uh, the poison. And uh, that this is if this the rodents ever come around, they'll come in here and, and feed. Uh, rodents are very habitual, so the good idea with these is to. Once you place them, not to move them. You keep them in the same spot. This way the rodents know all the time where they can come and eat, where they can come and feed. And they'll feed into the poison and, and then die. That's the whole uh, objective of this. So here in this supermarket, we also have a couple of uh, couple of uh, traps. They're mechanical traps. Uh, they're called humane traps. Uh, basically, they usually uh, trap the rodent alive uh, they kick them into it, it gets kicked into a compartment. They're called catch alls. These are winding, little winding mechanism. See the little handle on the outside? Basically, they go in, the rodent goes to the side of the box there on that opening in the bottom, right here. And it has a little, little kick, a plastic lever. Once they touch that, it kicks them into a little compartment in here where these holes are at. And again, it's called a catch all. So we have these also, you know, these, uh, we've had these for many years. They lasted, they're galvanized steel, so these will last for a very long time, as long as they don't get beat up or 
too much uh, too much water they'll last quite a long time these are they've been sitting here for probably about three years now and so every once in a while we'll catch uh, catch something there we do get a little bit of a couple of rodents stragglers not often again these supermarkets are pretty good believe it or not even though they're in the city uh, they're pretty good and this is one of the supermarkets that's pretty pretty clean in terms of sanitation or and keeping organized see it's pretty clean Here we're going to check that other, another catch hole here. We'll check that trap, make sure everything is good here. There's the catch on one of the aisles. Every once in a while, we catch something. We got two this time. So we'll clean it and reset it, and that's it. Okay, so I already cleaned it up. Basically, you get done cleaning it up, you have to rewind these. I already wind it a couple of times, but yeah, it's a winding mechanism. You can hear that? Watch how it goes up. You see that? You hear it? That's tripping. So every time the mouse goes in there, it does that, it trips it, and it kicks it in there. Back to it. I'm gonna put it right back where we had it. Always put the always put the trap in the same spot. You got honey turkey? So this is the corner where it likes to be. We always catch the mice right here. So it's always a good idea. Always to keep it in the same spot. Always to keep it in the same spot. All right. All right, so I'm just leaving my second supermarket on my way to the third. Um, we're gonna go out now to uh, Orange, Orange, New Jersey, uh, about 15 minutes away. A um, little less, but if we get traffic, it'll be about 15 minutes. All right, that'll be the next, uh, that'll be my third. And I got one more supermarket. Uh, this afternoon and we'll be done for the afternoon and then uh, tonight I got like uh, two buildings uh, that we'll do and I'll walk you through those as well okay Hey, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien, bien. Sí, meterle veneno, tú. Look like the they like the soft bait a little bit more. The red is the hard bait. The green is the little packets there. It's called soft bait. So it all depends on what the rodent at the time likes. It's uh typically if it's a if 
it's a wet environment they'll uh, they'll eat the, the hard bait if it's a dry environment they'll eat the soft bait so in the supermarket we have both because there's water this dry so I usually put both just to make sure you give them the choice and hopefully with one of the one of the baits they'll eat but they're eating both but mainly the the soft bait as you can see here they're also chewing up the red that's what you see there the red residue Downstairs, we're gonna go down to the garage where we do the um, the garbage garbage area, and that's it. But all the floors, all the floors have a laundry room, and the apartments, which I've already done, all the apartments uh, we treat kitchen and bath, kitchen and bath. Uh, if we have any problems with mice or roaches, we take care of it. But this building is clean. It's a fairly good building. And then we do this areas. We do the common areas. This is part of the common area, which is the, the garbage area. And that's it. This is a 12, 12 unit building. All right, so we're done. Um, we're on our way. I'm on my way now to the uh, my last couple of, I'm gonna, I got like two more stops. Basically, I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna post, uh, we're gonna post uh, the signs in the buildings for the uh, the treatments we're gonna do tomorrow. And tomorrow and Thursday. So basically, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. So I, I try to do that. We have schedules in the buildings. Uh, but, you know, even though there's schedules, I always like to put a posting just to, to make sure uh, we put one of these guys you know, it'll tell them, uh, get one of these guys, see that? So this one's for Thursday. Uh, so we're putting it up. Basically, uh, gives them a time, the date and time. Doesn't guarantee that the tenant's gonna be home, but it helps. It also helps uh, helps me so that, you know, that I could also charge the, you know, my customer, because since I'm, you know, I'm posting, if they're not home, that's another issue that they'll have to deal with the tenant. But. We're giving them an ample advance. We have a schedule in the building and we also have these signs that we put up, which helps. All right, so this is, uh, we're gonna be doing this building. 
Uh, this is in a little town in a town called West New York. And we'll be doing this building on Thursday. Oh, actually, hold on, Friday. Same deal, we got a sign inside the building. And now we put a sign here, just to let the tenants know that we'll be coming. We'll be coming on Friday. Well, this kind of wraps it up for today. Um, this is, uh, so this is our, our second day. Uh, I'm gonna try, like I said, I'm gonna try to put out uh, at least a video a day. Uh, to keep you guys kind of like uh, 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 you know keep you guys uh, in tune as to what I do uh, as a pest control operator uh, and then um, you know hopefully you'll get some some use uh, out, of, out of the video uh, informative uh, you know you'll see a couple of things that I do that may be able to help you if you're a, a pest control operator and also you'll be able to see if you're interested in becoming a pest control operator uh, this is the type of work you want to do uh, I can't show you all the details inside of the places. Some homes I'll be able to do that uh, when there's no tenants around or if the apartments are empty. Uh, for privacy reasons, I can't be doing, you know, I can't do that. So uh, I'm just tr showing you kind of like on the surface. That's why I'm not showing you all the tenants or anything like that. But um, again, uh, privacy issues are, are a concern to a lot of people. So I can't, uh, for that reason, I can't, I can't record uh, all the time. Uh, inside the apartment so uh, if the apartment is empty or there's no tenant uh, home present then I can do it um, you know because I'm not showing anybody's uh, personal stuff you know no you know no one's gonna be identified so uh, we can do we can record but so I'll do as much as I can in terms of like the top that you know how to do certain things you know with using the sprayer where to put the traps how to how to bait all that good stuff we'll be doing that in uh, other videos and I'll show you guys as much as I can Hopefully, like I said, uh, like I said, you find the, the information I'm sharing informative and educational, which is the purpose of this, okay? Hopefully, uh, it'll help you guys out. So if you like it, please uh, subscribe, uh, hit the notification uh, button, uh, so you'll be notified when the videos come out, and, and you'll, be, uh, you'll be in tune with what I'm doing, okay? Uh, we'll take you on that in this journey. It's going to be about a year. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it every day, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.